Today, we'll explore several fascinating studies that examine various health aspects related to blood type O. We'll start with the most recent studies and work our way back to the older ones. The studies we'll cover include, 1. The Impact of Blood Type O on COVID-19 Susceptibility, published in 2020. 2. The Relationship Between Blood Type O and Cardiovascular Health, published in 2018. 3. How Blood Type O Influences Cognitive Function, published in 2017. 4. The Potential Link Between Blood Type O and Increased Longevity, published in 2015. 5. How Blood Type O Might Impact Fertility, published in 2011. 6. Blood Type O and the Risk of Pancreatic Cancer, published in 2009. 7. The Association Between Blood Type O and Digestive Health, specifically Peptic Ulcer Disease, published in 1990. By the end of this discussion, you'll have a comprehensive understanding of how blood type O influences various health outcomes. Given the recent findings, what is the relationship between blood type O and cardiovascular health? In 2018, a study published in the Journal of the American College of Cardiology examined the relationship between blood type O and cardiovascular health. This study involved over 400,000 participants from various ethnic backgrounds. The researchers found that individuals with blood type O had a lower risk of developing cardiovascular diseases, including heart attacks and strokes. The study suggests that the anti-inflammatory properties of blood type O, along with lower levels of blood clotting factors, contribute to this reduced risk. Key researchers involved in this study were Dr. Nicholas L. Smith from the University of Washington and Dr. Christopher J. O'Donnell from the National Institutes of Health. Their findings were praised by Dr. Paul M. Ritker from Brigham and Women's Hospital, who highlighted the importance of genetic factors in cardiovascular disease prevention. And let's say blood type O influences cognitive function, what does the research show? A 2017 study published in Brain Research investigated the link between blood type O and cognitive function. The study included 1,600 elderly participants and found that those with blood type O had better cognitive performance compared to other blood types. The researchers observed that blood type O individuals had a higher volume of gray matter in the brain, which is associated with better memory and executive function. The study concluded that blood type O might offer some protection against cognitive decline, potentially due to lower levels of inflammation and better vascular health in the brain. The research team was led by Dr. Matteo DeMarco from the University of Sheffield, with contributions from Dr. Annalena Venery. Their work was well received by experts in neurology, including Dr. David Reynolds from Alzheimer's Research UK. Okay, now how does blood typo impact fertility? A study published in Human Reproduction in 2011 investigated the impact of blood type O on fertility. The study included 560 women undergoing fertility treatments and was conducted by researchers from Yale University and Albert Einstein College of Medicine. The findings suggested that women with blood type O are more likely to have a lower ovarian reserve compared to those with other blood types. This might affect their fertility, although more research is needed to fully understand this relationship. The research team was led by Dr. Lubna Powell and Dr. Peter Schlegel, with notable contributions from Dr. Norbert Gleitcher. This study sparked discussions among reproductive health professionals, including Dr. Richard Paulson from the University of Southern California. But why might blood typo affect the risk of pancreatic cancer? A study published in the Journal of the National Cancer Institute in 2009 explored the relationship between blood type O and the risk of pancreatic cancer. The study analyzed data from over 107,000 individuals from the Nurses' Health Study and the Health Professionals' Follow-Up Study. Researchers found that individuals with blood type O had a lower risk of developing pancreatic cancer compared to those with other blood types. The study suggests that the lower levels of inflammation in blood type O individuals might contribute to this reduced risk. Key researchers included Dr. Brian Wolpin from the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute and Dr. Charles Fuchs from Harvard Medical School. Their findings were acknowledged by oncology experts like Dr. Elizabeth Platts from Johns Hopkins University.